Hey guys and welcome to my Wrestlemania 33 predictions video. Um, probably going to get them all wrong but here we go. Why don't we start off with the um, the uh, kickoff show which um, will begin with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and um, yeah I'm not going to name everyone that's in this but the, the main two players in this are uh, are um, you know, Big Show and Braun Strowman. And, you know, Big Show haven't won it already. Um, I don't see them giving it to him again. And the role that Braun's been on, I think I think Braun's got to take this. So, uh, yeah, just actually before we go into this, I'll probably just say I'll, I'll, I'll go through who I, who I think will win it and who I, who I would like to win it for each match. So for this, um, I would like to see Braun Strowman win it, and I do actually think he will win it as, as well anyway. And I think he'll look pretty dominant. One thing to note, note is um, the, the Usos are going to be in this, which um, I heard rumours that um, now that the Hardys have signed back with WWE, um, that there's maybe going to be a surprise appearance with them later on. Um, so hopefully maybe that will be saved for Raw, um, uh, in the, with the fact that they're in the... Uh, in this, uh, you know, uh, Andre the Giant match. Um, but yep, ne next after that, we go on to what I really think could actually potentially be the best match of the night, believe it or not, on the kickoff. Um, you know, and it's on the kickoff show. It's the cruiserweight match, uh, the cruiserweight title match with uh, King Neville versus. Uh, Mr. Aries himself, Austin Aries, and um, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, a really, really good match to to watch. I think um, it's going to be one of the the matches that could help. Um, you know, definitely the, the the feud between these two guys could help turn around this uh, negativity that's uh, looming over the cruiserweights, and um, you know, really show that what they can do. Because um, I'm a big fan of both of these guys. So who would I like to win? I would like Neville to win just so that he would further show his dominance as the, you know the king of this division. But I actually think they're going to give it to Austin Aries. I think he's going to take it. Um, yep. So that's uh, my opinion on that. Next up, and um, the final match for the uh, kickoff show is the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, I just double checked this because I've not watched the, the latest episode of SmackDown just because um, I couldn't bring myself to watch it. Um, but previously, Ni Ni Naomi was injured, so I'm not 100% sure if she's in it because it's showing that on when I checked the card to write down this list, so I knew I knew which you know to go for each match. Um, it was shown as Naomi was in it, so taking that into consideration, if Naomi is in this match, then I 100% believe that they're going to give her, her the win. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, because, um, I mean, she really does deserve it. And if she is in it, um, although I, I love Alexa Bliss, you know, I mean, I, I love her. Um, I would eat my cereal out of her ass. But, um, oh my God, I, yeah, I love her so much. But... I really think Naomi deserves, uh, uh, you know, her WrestleMania moment, and I really do. When I saw just before she got injured there, when she was wearing the championship uh, on SmackDown, she really did look like she she would, uh, you know, suit that championship. I really think she'd be a good champion, and uh, she's reinvented herself again lately. And you know, she just, yeah, I think Naomi deserves it. And um, if she is in it, I, I believe they will uh, give her the win anyway. So, on to the main card. We start off with the Raw Tag Team. Um, uh, la free, it's the Raw Tag Team Triple Threat Ladder Match. And I think we know who's going to win this. It's 100% uh, going to be Enzo and Cass that are going to win this. This is the, the first uh, match of the, of the night. They want to kick everything off with a positive bang and make all the fans happy. So we've got Enzo and Cass, Sheamus Cesaro and Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And, um, yeah, I mean, who, who would I personally like to see win it? Um, Sheamus and, Ces and Cesaro, because they, um, you know, Sheamus and Cesaro have been, um, you know, really good in my opinion. If you, if you look at what they've done, they, they, they are the most believable tag team, I think, right now. Um, you know, on the Raw side of things, they, they were, um, 
uh, you know, they were put together when, and, and you know, the whole gimmick was that they, they couldn't work together. So you can believe the losses that they've had are, are down to that. But since they've been on the same page, they, you know, I really like what they do together. They, they work really well. They've turned a huge negative into a positive. They were both stuck in the abyss. And, you know, I think they're a really, really good team. Uh, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, I think they've, you know, they've just been wasted. They don't come across as, you know, dominant to me. And uh, Enzo and Cass, um, I just kind of feel like they're just starting to lose that, you know, they're just starting to wear away and, be and become a bit too much now. Um, it, they've kind of lost their magic, but I think they might recapture it by winning the, the titles at WrestleMania. So, who would I like to win? Sheamus and Cesaro, but it's 100% going to be Enzo and Cass that win this ladder match, and I can guarantee you it's going to be Enzo climbing up the ladder and pulling the titles down um, at the end. Um, but yeah, next on is the Intercontinental match, Dean Ambrose, the Lunatic Fringe, against the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. Now, I'm a big Baron Corbin fan. I would uh, really, really like to see him get this. And you know what? I think I think he will actually. I think um, I think Baron Corbin will, will take this one. Um, I think Dean's just starting to, you know, a lot like what I was saying about Enzo and Cass. I think he's starting to become, you know, just lose a bit of what has made him kind of special. Fans are just becoming a bit kind of bored of him. He needs to kind of reinvent himself. I think um, the lunatic fringe needs to needs to go. He needs to change something about him because he's just became a bit stale. Um, and uh, yeah, I definitely think uh, Dean needs to freshen himself up. I think uh, you know Corbin's looking more and more uh, like they, like he's about to get a good push um, with the way they've been treating him, and I think Corbin will take this one. Uh, next up is John Cena and uh, Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. Who would I love to see win this? Obviously The Miz, because I, I, The Miz and Maurice, they've been fantastic together. And especially some of the stuff The Miz has done over the last year, the last 12 months, he, he deserves this. He really, really does. But we all know that Cena's going to win it. We know that Cena's going to win it. And we know that there's a good chance he's going to propose to Nikki Bella after the match. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this just because, you know, I re really, I mean, The Miz in ring uh, lately and out, out of the ring, you know, with his promos and stuff, he's been fucking top top of his game. And you know what, you, you can hate Cena all you want, but anytime he puts on a match, it's, it's a great match. So, yep, that, that'll be fun. Um, next up is the United States Championship with Y2J versus Kevin Owens. I'm not sure who I think is going to win this one. Um, uh, da, 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 da. The, the thing that's thrown me off about this is Jericho's leaving to go on tour with uh, you know, his band a, a, after WrestleMania. Maybe not directly, immediately after. He might be on a couple of Raws after, but... Um, because he's leaving, I'm inclined to think, you know, well, they would give it to Owens but I really think Jericho has been so good and he's been phenomenal I, I really think the, the what he's done with his character recently and how he helps you know elevate all the other stars on the roster and how how he's you know allowed other stars to put themselves over um, and, and he's you know kind of took took the took the fall for so many of these upcoming talent up and coming you know young talents that I think the WWE are just going to reward him by giving him the win at Wrestlemania and then maybe you'll see something like uh, he'll lose the title on Raw the next night after in some stupid way um, you know just to get the title off him before he goes away on tour um, so yeah I'm going to say who would I want to win this? Obviously, I want Y2J to win it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I think he might actually take it. And I think we're all going to have to drink it in, man. Oh, I can't wait for that. Next up, the Raw Women's Fatal 4-Way Elimination. Who's going to win this? Um, who's going to win this? Um, you know what? I would be... Um, I would be um, actually quite uh, inclined to say I think maybe Nia Jax might take this. I think, yeah, 
Uh, see, this could go so many ways. This one, this one could be interesting because you could either get, you know, there's so many things that I I think could happen. You could have, you could have it come down to Bailey and Sasha, uh, and then Sasha could do like a heel turn on Bailey, or you know, um, you could. I mean, there's so many ways this can go, but I think who do I want to win it? Um, I, I I want Charlotte to win it because I think she deserves it. She's the She's the best. Um, oh, she clearly is the best. I, I fucking love her. Um, who do I think might win it? Um, gonna go with Nia Jax on this one, just because I think they're gonna, you know, they, they want to give her a bit of a push, but she's not really getting over with the crowd, and I think giving her a big WrestleMania moment might make her more believable as a, you know, a dominant heel, um, and being in, and winning in a match with all four of the other. You know, all, well, all three of the other women, top women in there. Um, if she gets the win over them, it might make her a bit more believable. So, yeah, we'll go with Nia Jax on that. Um, next up is Shane and uh, AJ. And uh, Shane and AJ, I 100% think AJ is going to win. I'm not sure what they're going to do with this. Um, I think Shane will have a couple of high spot moments, and he'll, you know, he'll, you know, do some crazy shit. Um, but then I think um, it's pretty much going to come down to um, AJ winning the match. And who would I like to win the match? Yeah, I mean, I'd obviously like AJ to win the match. I think Shane is more of a, you know, an attraction. You know, he's always got to lose. He's always got to come up just short. But, um, but um, yeah, I, I, I think um, you can't have Shane McMahon going and beating all of the... The, the top stars on SmackDown, you know, that just wouldn't look good. Um, so I think, yeah, Shane's Shane's not going to win this one, but I think he'll definitely pull off some good high-flying moves, uh, maybe a dive off the, dive through some tables, maybe pull a, la a, a really big ladder out. We know there's going to be ladders there for, from the Raw Tag Team match, so he might pull out a ladder and, uh, and um, you know, do like a uh, you know a big jump on AJ or something, something along those lines. But um, oh. uh, one second. Okay, let me pause that just so I can look at my list. Um, where were we? Where were we? We got to Shane and AJ, so yeah, AJ's gonna win. We want that to win. Ooh, up next is Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Now, this is an interesting one. This really is an interesting one. Um, who do I think is gonna win this? Well, first of all, who, who do I want to win this? And that's the easy one. We obviously want Undertaker to win this. Nobody ever wants Undertaker to lose at WrestleMania, I don't think. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd. I'd I'd like to see Undertaker win this, but I'm inclined to believe that Roman Reigns is going to win this for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I think they're going to they're going to do something. Um, and I'm are they going to turn in the heel? Mm, possibly, possibly. Uh, maybe have them do something at the end of the match where Undertaker's showed respect for um, for. Uh, for uh, Roman Reigns, and then Roman Reigns turns around and, and you know, like Superman punches him or spears him and shows disrespect to him and becomes like the ultimate heel. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns is going to win this. I think Undertaker, he, he's on his way out, and I think the, you know, the the, the streak's already been broke now. It's not going to do a huge damage to. To the Undertaker's legacy, I think they'll do something where it, you know, where it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make it look bad for Undertaker losing. He'll look, he'll look good, but I, I definitely think Roman Reigns will take this, and um, yeah, that's unfortunate because I would, I would love Undertaker to go out on a win because I think this is going to be his last match. So, ah, oh yeah, which makes it more like. Hmm. Are we really going to make Undertaker lose in his last match? Um, oh, this, this, this is going to be interesting. Really not sure about this, but I'm going to go with Roman Reigns uh, for winning. Um, let's have a look. Next up is the non-sanctioned match with Triple H and Seth Rollins. Um, 
I'm inclined to believe that Rollins will get this. Like, Triple H can't keep putting himself over um, and, and just, you know, he, he's got to give. Especially, I, I understand, I get it with Sting and, you know, having to show that WWE is, you know, better than WCW and the Eagles. But um, when it comes to Seth, he's one of the, the biggest young talents in, in the WWE. They need, to, they need to give him his WrestleMania win. And they need to, part of the... The, the deal with putting up with the authority all year as a fan is you get your payoff at WrestleMania or at the end of the year when they get their comeuppance and I think Rollins is going to win it. Um, I've heard rumours that um, you know Joe is going to come out and uh, Samoa Joe is going to come out and help Triple H and then Finn Balor is going to come out and help Rollins. Uh, you know, something like that which I don't think will happen but um, yeah. I'm, who would I like to win it? I'd like Rollins to win it, um, and I think uh, I think Rollins will take this one. I'm not sure how though. That that's what I'm really interested to to find out. I'd really like to see how they're gonna pull that one off. Oh, and oh, if we can just pause so I can check who's next. We've got two more matches left. Oh. Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Weirdly enough, it's like the first. It's, I'm, I'm really, I'm a huge Bray fan, but I just think WWE have, have lost a chance with him to make him what he should have been. He should have been the next Undertaker-style figure. He should have been, you know, running something like the Ministry. He should have been this dark figure that just dominated everyone. He shouldn't, you know, he shouldn't have lost so many big matches. That, it, you know, big events. Um, he should have. He should have. You know, had so many more wins. He's lost at so many pay-per-views that it, it makes it um, quite hard to, be, you know, believe in him anymore. Um, who do I think is going to win it? I think they're going to give it to Bray Wyatt because I, I just I can't see how they can give it to Randy Orton and you know destroy Bray anymore. I think Bray's got to take it, and I really hope he does. Um, let's see. Um, so that moves. That leaves us to the the last match, which is obviously Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship. Who's gonna win? Um, okay, who do I want to win? I want Brock to win. I want Brock to get his his victory. I want him to finally get his victory over Goldberg and you know I want him to do it in a really dominating fashion and that, that's what I think will happen. I think Brock will um, go out there and he'll maybe do some sort of dirty tactic at the start of the match. Um, like before the match starts he'll maybe low blow him or, or maybe Heyman will distract the referee and Brock will use um, Brock will do something you know to get a little bit of an edge at the beginning of the match. And then I think you'll just like dominate the shit out of him and suplex him for seven or eight minutes straight and then uh, just really get a, a win in a dominating fashion. Um, and I, I, I hope he does. And then, you know, ironically, I think then, the next night on Raw, I, re I really think that Lesnar's going to come out and he's going to, you know, be bragging about how, how, how much of a boss he is, you know, and Heyman will be bragging about it and then I, I really think that you know something like Finn Balor will come out and you know challenge him and he, you know he'll kind of laugh it off like you can't challenge me you know like you're you're um you know like you're you're uh, tiny and uh or something like that and then he'll end up dropping it the next night I really think something crazy like that will happen but um anyway as you can see it's game over and uh yep that is the the card over so we've went through them all um and yeah uh, just to recap andre the giant uh memorial battle royal Braun Strowman cruiserweight uh uh match i think uh um i think i think they're going to give it to who did i say yeah i think they i think they're going to give it to aries but I, i'd like neville to win smackdown women's championship i think they're going to give it to naomi and they should uh, Raw Tag Team is going to be Enzo and Cass. Intercontinental Championship is going to be Baron Corbin. Cena versus The Miz is going to be Cena. Cena versus anyone is going to be Cena. USA Championship um, going to 
that, that's the tricky one. That's the one I'm most excited for. Um, I think they'll give it to Y2J. Raw Women's Championship, possibly Nia Jax. Shane and AJ, it's going to go to AJ. Roman versus Taker, another one like the Y2J and... Uh, uh, Owens match really unsure, but I think I think they're gonna give it to Roman. Seth versus Triple H. Mm, I think they're gonna give it to Seth. Bray versus Randy Orton. Gonna give it to Bray, and Brock versus Goldberg. It's gonna be Brock. So thanks for listening, guys, and I will see you at the next video.